I'm in South America on a mission to collect DNA from green anacondas. We've already found three in the Brazilian rainforest. Baby anaconda! What a beauty. Oh. And now I'm in Venezuela with anaconda expert Jesus Rivers. We did manage to get three specimens. This yeah. time of the year is a uh, heroic. As a kid, Jesus was my absolute hero after I watched him walk through the swamps looking for snakes barefoot. And now I'm going to work with him in those very same swamps. Anacondas are notoriously bitey though, so I have to watch out. Ah! I've made it to Venezuela and straight away I've come across one of the world's most special crocodiles. The Orinoco crocodile is one of the most endangered crocodiles in the world. And he's coming out. Whoa! <laughs> Be careful. They are crazy. With endangered reptiles like this living here, it's no surprise one of the world's snake experts does too. We've been spending a month in the Para state trying to look for anacondas. It's been ridiculously hard. <laughs> we did manage to get three specimens for you. That's good. That's awesome. This yeah. time of the year is uh, heroic. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that will be useful for your Oh, absolutely. Your absolutely. Great. Awesome contribution. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus runs an ongoing anaconda monitoring project where radio tags allow him to track their distribution. You will think you are in a different planet. We will be stepping on them. So these are the swamps that I've been talking about. We've just got here and now we're going to look for anacondas. Look up and down the side of the, the water here and let's see, see how easy it is to get an anaconda. This is an animal that lives in the water. All right, let's see if we can catch a snake. And it's breeding season here in the swamps, which is a good time to find snakes that haven't been tagged before. First anaconda. It's very difficult to get him. This is just insane. Yeah, our first snake. It's a male. We're another five minutes. We got another anaconda. We have three anacondas. Three anacondas here. Wow. They're so strong, even at this size. It's very hard to unwrap them. Because that's exactly how they'll kill their prey. There's another snake over there. Wow! Get out of there. Two snakes, two anacondas. This is just absolutely wild. Okay. Close that up. Cool. This is the way they coil into this. Yeah, they are is, is, themselves. They're seriously strong. Yeah. Oh, I'm becoming an anaconda catching expert. <laughs> so many males means there must be a big female around here. Yeah, there she is. Ah! Nail me! Cool! Big snake! Ah! Oh, the sixth snake. Yeah! Didn't see the head at all. And it nailed me. Really good. The females are much thicker than the males and they're breeding at this time of the year. You little beauty. Thanks for the bite. <laughs> so let's take this baby back to the car. Whew. It's time to collect the DNA from all our anacondas. <laughs> it's absolutely nuts. I tell you, I tell you. <laughs> Well, this is a beauty. What, what were you doing here with this one? So I, I just finished processing her. I collected that, I measured her, and, uh, and she's ready to go back to the field. These are the six snakes. We've processed them, we've measured them, we've put uh, tags in there so that Jesus can track them over the years to come. And we're going to release them back where we found them, right here. Look at that fat dummy. Good deal. <laughs> What were they doing in Brazil? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Amazing, at the end of the night, they're still out basking. Sometimes it's great just to be able to see them completely undisturbed.